We can't start a video like right. that. So you want to try a little spanking in the bedroom. Oh, yes. So you're just not sure how the heck to actually do it. Yeah, like how much pressure do you use or where do you spank? When do you spank? Lots of questions and we are breaking it all down today. We'll talk about all things spanking in this video. But first we are curious to know, have you tried a little spanking in the bedroom? Let us know in the comments down below. But before we get started with the spanking, I feel like the polite thing to do would be to introduce ourselves if you're brand sure. new here. So <laughs> we are Vanessa and Xander Marin. Vanessa here is a sex therapist. I'm a regular dude. We've been together for 15 years. And our account is all about giving you the tools tips and techniques that you need to create a truly extraordinary relationship inside and outside of the bedroom. So if you are interested in that, then just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So first let's talk a little bit about why spank. So if yeah. you're not somebody who's ever tried some spanking in the bedroom, you might be wondering like, what's the fuss all yeah. about? So spanking can just be quite simply like a fun new thing to do. It can also have a lot of different tones to mm -hmm. it. So it can feel playful. It can feel very sexy. It can be kind of kinky as well. So there are a lot of different kinds of energies that you can bring in with your spanking. It's also something that's not gendered. So yeah. people of any gender, any configuration can enjoy a little bit of spanking. All right, so how do we get started with spanking? The very first thing we wanna talk about is consent. We wanna make sure mm -hmm. that you and your partner are both on board with this. Like don't just spring a spank on someone, especially on your partner, because not everybody is gonna like it, especially without talking about it. Okay, so where do we get started? the best place to experiment with spanking is on the butt. So when you're spanking somebody, you don't wanna spank bony areas yeah. like your elbow. I don't know why you'd be spanking your elbow anyways, but like shoulders, stuff like that. If there are bones like very close to the surface, it can hurt a little bit more. And if you're not sure if you like a little pain with your pleasure, then you might not wanna start there. But the butt for most of us, there's a little extra meat back there, mm -hmm. a little extra padding and cushioning. And it can also feel a little bit kinky to be spanked on the butt too. So in general, it just makes like a nice place to start off with. Now, we always recommend practicing outside of the bedroom first, especially if you feel nervous. And I mean, this is a good tip with almost any new thing that yeah. you want to try in the bedroom. Practice, you know, in a non-sexual way before, you know, doing it in the bedroom. You can even do a little practice session with your clothes on just to figure out like where your hand goes, how much pressure to use, how hard to spank, etc. Okay, so the next thing that you wanna do is you really wanna kind of hone in on the exact location. So we recommend starting with the butt, like I was saying, but like you don't wanna to hit too close to the crag, you don't wanna hit on more on the hip, like you wanna find your zone. So a really nice, easy way to find the spot is like use your hand to rub around mm -hmm. a little bit so you're like giving your partner some stimulation. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like weird that you're doing this, but you're also like really finding like, okay, yeah, it's right about here. <laughs> All right, so what is the, the a spank actually look like? Let's, let's break down the anatomy uh -huh. of a spank, so to speak. So you've you found your spot, maybe you've warmed it up a little bit. Do a you know a short little wind up and smack. And all, <laughs> another tip, cupping your hands can help make that nice smacking sound. I think many of us have had the experience with spanking where you know you think you're doing a good spank and it doesn't really make any noise and you're like, uh -huh. oh god, did I do something wrong? So yeah, cupping the hand is gonna help you get that you know, that's satisfying <laughs> spanking <laughs> smack. Okay, so our tip is also to start off slow mm -hmm. and light with your spanking yes. as well, like kind of soft. You And you can gradually increase mm -hmm. the pressure if you guys are liking yeah. it, but like don't go in hard with like a big old spank. Like start softly and let the person who's yeah. being spanked determine how hard they like it. So of course you're gonna need to communicate about mm -hmm. this. They're gonna let you know, but that's, this is actually one of the benefits that we missed at the very beginning of like spanking, the reason to do it is because it feels good. There's some stimulation there. So you want the person who's receiving it to let you know like, ooh, that's too little pressure, that's too much pressure, this is like just right. All right, so if you are finding that you are enjoying the spanking, one or both of you, and you are getting into harder and harder smacks, a big tip is hold your hand on the butt or wherever you're spanking afterward because that will help relieve the sting of the spank. So, you know, do the spank and instead of removing your hand, just spank and hold. <laughs> 
All right, well that wraps up our video about spanking 101. All right, if you like this video, please give it a like, hit the red button, smack that red button <laughs> to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you keep getting notified as soon as we post more videos. Thanks for watching.